The raffle is over. And the signees are in. Jordan Dior is on its way. Dior. Let me say that right. It's on its way and people are going nuts for that one of a kind Jordan that is sure to top the list of the finest hype beasts and purists alike. With only 8,500 pairs of the highs and 4,700 of the lows, that's of this video, the release is gearing up to be one of the rarest limiteds in the history of Jordan. Fully serialized for authenticity. Like seriously, all of the shoes have serial numbers, which is nuts. If we account for the celebs and influencers that are sure to get their pair and the folks who spent 20K at Dior to secure a pair, it's probably a lot less as far as what you can get because rich people love sneakers too or at least they now love sneakers. We're also getting a Jordan Dior fully realized collection combining sport and detail tailoring and a combo that can easily be described as sport chic. But you can get your reviews on all of that elsewhere because here on The Casual, we examine how this release lays bare a future in which collabs are going to get rarer and pricier, at least for the big companies out there. It's probably safe to say that collabs have gotten ridiculous and in many ways stale. The last few years have been labels searching for ways to intersect lifestyles and labels so often that the sheer amount of collaborations is impossible to track, which inevitably led to where we are today, luxury brands co-opting more populous labels, such as the case with Prada and Adidas, Coach and Bape, and of course, Jordan Dior. This is a huge departure from several years ago where these higher end labels scoffed at the idea of being attached to such brands. But now that the rich kids and influencers are controlling the scene, these collabs are becoming major cash grabs, even with their limited shelf life. It all started with Supreme LV, we remember, where we found out exactly who was buying these popular clothes. Super fat wallet influencers and cats from various countries that had deep wallets. Whereas the original street fashion community has largely moved on due to price hikes, individuals with deeper pockets are now free to co-opt their plebeian contemporary style, but elevate it into luxury with sheer might of buying power. Cause we can fully expect some kid to do a review on the Jordan Dior's on this very platform that you're watching this video on right now, screeching about how much he or she paid. Most likely he paid for them with their mouth open in the thumbnail. You know it's gonna happen because collabs at the lower level have been run into the ground. Once you've had one North Face Supreme, what's the point in another? And if you get one more ASSC something collab, who the hell is going to care? So the obvious moves by these companies was to be even more limited and out of reach with their collabs because it solves the problem of access. Those long lines, forget about it. Let me explain. One, the people who make styles dope usually don't have the money to buy $2,200 sneakers. And two, the people who wanna be like the people who make dope styles wanna separate themselves from them by flocking to luxury street. And there's plenty of those people. It's a win-win for capitalism. Rich people buy expensive stuff, especially their kids. Essentially, what the Jordan Dior collab represents is a clear turn towards the wealthy when it comes to making something special, at least in collaboration. Street styles are needed more than ever because the market is shifting towards influencer-driven hype. The industry can no longer afford for people to just look at the clothes and appreciate them. You gotta buy. This is a buyer's game. And as high fashion becomes less and less of a necessity, if it ever was, especially now, the only reliable source of sales can come from the younger people with the money to spend, i.e. those who actually care about looking cool. And the street elite have chosen a side. How fast did it take for Sean Wertherspoon and Travis and others to talk up the Dior Jordans when many in the community saw them as mediocre at best? But because the elite holds so much sway, it makes the release seem like the most important of all time. Which it isn't, but it makes it seem that way. So the value increases because they say so. And then the question becomes, is street even street anymore when a selected few determine what's hot and what's not? Oh, and let's not forget, lest we forget that the resale on these Jordan Dior combos will almost certainly go for 10K. So yeah, you got the resale market to deal with too. And don't get it twisted, don't. This is not some purist rant about how we need to go back to the good old days. It's simply an observation on the state of street and luxury and a seemingly unavoidable future. And this is what's happening. Street, 
at least in this upper echelon circle, is now becoming like the high-end fashion industry, with a few at the top dictating the direction of everything. Most of them are just waiting for the next thing that the real street comes up with so they can monetize it, lux it out, and be called geniuses in the process. It's a weird moment, but if the Jordan Dior collab proves anything, it's that perceived coolness can finally be bought. And now, it'll cost you a fortune, but that shouldn't matter to people who are trying to be cool. So the question stands, is this the future of collabs? In my mind, I believe brands at the ground level should do more work together. The rugged individualism is killing the possibilities of creativity, but that's just a thought. Discuss, debate, and state your opinions in the comments. Love to hear what you guys have in mind, but most importantly, keep it casual. Or, and also, let us know if you like those Jordan yours. Yoroshikonagaishimasu. I'll see you guys in a minute. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Follow on Instagram for the latest out of Japan and beyond. And if you want even more content and business tips, all you got to do is become a member right here on YouTube or on Patreon at patreon.com slash the casual. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy. And keep it casual. よろしくお願いします。